<clears throat> Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, okay, okay. We have some people here now. Okay. There we go. Okay, good. Now, can you see the platform now? Yes. Which one do you see, the Google or the platform? Hello? Mauricio? Eh, no lo entendí la pregunta. ¿Cuál pantalla ve la de la plataforma o una que dice Google con una fondo azul? La plataforma, teacher. Ah, la plataforma, ok, good. Uh -huh. este me apareció otra por ahí. Ok, but you see the platform, right? Ok, let's answer this uh, knowledge check. The one that you were going to do. All right. So, oh, which one do you have in the number one? What is the... What did you that? have a good summer? Ok, did. Okay, good summer. What about the letter B? I did have, I had a great summer. Yes, I did, I had a great summer. I had a, yes, I did, I had a great summer. Okay, I get the next one. I went. I went to the beach alone. Okay. I went. So we have did, had, and went. If you see here the question, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Okay, I did have a great summer. I had. I had a great summer. But you see, I yes, I did. Y luego se da una explicación si se quiere. Okay, or if it is necessary. Here, I went to the beach a lot. Then, we have the three sentences correct. Good. How about the next one? Complete the conversation using the correct form. Uh -huh. Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes. Did you go, right? So we use did and then we say go. Uh -huh. And the next one? No, I didn't. I stayed. I stayed. I 
Okay. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. I stayed here. Okay. We got. I got a part-time job. I got a part-time job. Uh -huh. Get. Got is the past tense of get. There you go. Okay, very good. Number three. Did you take any class last summer? Uh huh. Did you take any classes last summer? Good. Yes, I did. Uh huh. I took. I took. Took is the past tense of take. Nice. There you go. Look, we have all of them correct. Okay. How about um, uh, this one, number four? Did you? Speak. 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 Did you speak? English, that's all right. Okay, did you speak? No, I didn't. But I read English books. But I read, right? But I read. I read. It's the same. Same spelling, different pronunciation. And I? Watch it. Watch. Watch. Wow, very good. Nice pronunciation. Watch. And I watched English movies. There you go. Okay. So there we have. And then we have all the sentences are correct. Okay, good. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Then we see the next one. Don't forget to complete the platform, right? And then do the exercises. Now that you have, that you know how to do it. Okay, in the next one, uh, Gabriela Kipre, would you please read this? By the end of the class, you will learn how to Ask and answer simple past, yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in our real, real life. Real life? Real life settings. Okay, very good. Okay, now you will pay attention to just let me share, make sure that the computer sound it is shared and to the maximum. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now you're gonna uh, listen to this conversation. Pay attention to the conversation at the beginning and the questions, right? The questions which are yes, no questions. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Okay, is the sound okay? Can you hear? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. here we go. Yes. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. 
Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did. Then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. See the questions? Do you have any doubts? Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? Here you have, for example, so did you go anywhere? Okay, so here you see, for example, that yes, no questions. It says, did you go? Did you go anywhere last summer? And then the answer is yes, I did, okay? So in the question, you just want to know yes or no. In this case, Erika is given more information. And she says, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. And then she says, we saw the Grand Canyon. And then she now is including the sister, is including the sister in the conversation, okay? That's why now she uses we. Then Laura says, really, did you like it? Okay, did you like it? And then Erika says, oh, yes. Okay, you see, yes, we loved it. Now she says we because she is including the sister, okay? Did you go hiking? 
Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Now it says, did you go? He's referring to Erica and the sister. And it says, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went white water rafting. White water rafting is here in the picture. This is the raft, okay? Mira los rápidos, right? Rafting on the Colorado River. How did you have fun? Wow, did you have fun? Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Um, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, donde dice, en donde dice, uh, and uh -huh. we also went white, where, no sé cómo se pronuncia, rafting. Uh -huh. uh, on the Colorado River. Mi pregunta es porque a veces me, me da vuelta la cabeza cuando está el nombre primero y después a qué se refiere. En, pero acá es Colorado River. Es como decir, o hay otra Hasta cosa. Hasta el Water River. Ajá. Uh -huh. Te Ajá, yeah. Entonces, mi, mi pregunta es que siempre va a ir como el nombre del, del, del objeto que estamos designando o del lugar antes de, de lo, del, por ejemplo, este caso del río. Yes, for example, for uh, example, Columbia University. Ajá, algo así. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, you say, for example, the, this Colorado River, because it's like, como, como que es parte de, el river es parte de Colorado, that's the name, right? Colorado uh -huh. River, mm -hmm. yes. Usually oh. in, in English they use a lot the the name of the rivers are according to the states or cities or the name of places, right? Como que pertenecen ahí, el río de Colorado, right? Then you say for example Mississippi, Alabama River, then it's a, a Mississippi River, and then they use the the name of the city or place where the the river is located and then the river. <clears throat> okay. 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 Thank Any you. other question? Welcome. Yes, Mr. Roland? Yes. Ahí en la imagen este, aparece primero River Room. Ahí se aplicaría lo mismo que acaba de explicar. River. Oh, uh -huh. Ajá. Which one? Ahí en la imagen que aparece este River Room, ¿se apl aplicaría siempre la misma este, explicación que le acaba de hacer el compañero? Oh, no, this is, no, this is different, this is different. This is not the name. This es como Carrera del Río, something like that. Something different. Oh, That's yeah. not the name of the river. That's uh -huh. not the name. It's una it, this is a river run. Okay, run is como... Okay, como el... Uh, Correr o una, una carrera de un río, something like that, right? Like a race. Okay, so oh, it's yeah. not the same. Uh -huh. It's not the name of the river. Okay. What okay. else? Now, questions about this, the, let's say the structure of the question. No? Because now, Let me see here. This is the question. <clears throat> and we have, for example, that we have here next. Unscramble the questions. But this is something that we're going to do. Okay, in your group of WhatsApp, I will send. You two images. The one with the conversation and the one with the questions. Okay. Now you have them in your WhatsApp. And then the is the the same conversation, okay? Now a we are going to, to work in groups and you are going to practice, okay, you're going to practice the, um, 
the conversation. You're going to read this conversation in the group, okay? Read the conversation, uh, practice the pronunciation, and after, when you finish practicing the pronunciation and, the, and the, uh, with that conversation, you are going to use the question, okay? And then you can practice asking yes, no questions. Like, did you go, uh, here says, uh, well, according to this one, uh, did you have a good summer? Did you play volleyball? But you can use question, uh, questions about your life, right? For example, did you visit your parents today? Did you, uh, did you study English today in the afternoon? Okay, did you study English this afternoon? Uh, did, you, um, did you chat with your friends? Uh, did, you, uh, did you clean the house? Did you cook? And then the other person will say, yes, I did or no, I didn't, okay? The idea is that you practice different verbs, okay? And the answer, yes, I did or no, I did. Questions? No hay preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No. Sí, para, para las respuestas solo, solo esas dos formas. Solo. Okay. Yes, I did. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, I did or no, I did. Yes or no. Okay, short answer. Respuesta corta. Yes. I did, no I didn't, short answer, okay? There are uh, long answers, but in this moment, we're going to practice with yes, no question. Okay, yes, and no. Okay, so we're gonna have like maximum three people in each group. Okay, now accept your invitations. And let's start working. Y primero la sí. conversación, esas preguntas, vamos que... Ok, ¿quién iniciaría entonces? Eh, si quieren, yo soy Laura. No sé ok, si yo voy a ser Erika. Ok. Ok. Entonces comienzo. Sí. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We say the Grand Canyon. We saw. We saw. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it we love it did you go high kinder no we didn't actually we rode horse and we also went bright water but rally no, no sé cómo se dice on the Colorado Ra River. Right oh, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. A great time. Great, great time. Great time. Okay. Okay, you say, if you want, we change now. Okay, okay, soy Erika. 
Okay. I am Laura. <laughs> uh, so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Yes, we love it. Did you did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse, and we also went wide water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Bueno, pues ahí serían las, las preguntas. Okay. O si quieren, cambien también este que. Que yo que sea Laura. Ajá. Y. Roger sea Rica. Vaya. Este. Okay. Permítame. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Uh, actually, we rode horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Y ahora sí las preguntas entonces. To work yesterday? Yes, I did. Mm. Yesterday, working all the day. Okay. Uh, did you go out last weekend? Did you go last? Go as como me dijo? Did you go out last weekend? Um, como salir el, uh, el, el fin de semana, algo así. No, 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 I did. For, ¿cómo se llama la? Pandemia, <laughs> la pandemia, oh. for the pande pan pandemia, no sé cómo es que se escribe. Pandemic, ah, ¿cómo? Pandemic. Pandemia. Uh -huh. Pandemic, ajá, uh -huh, de pandemia. Pandemic, pandemic. pandemic. Okay. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yes. Disculpe, si dijera, yo, yo, o sea, no he podido salir así por la pandemia, ¿cómo tendría que ser? Uh, I haven't been able to go out because of the pandemic. Ah, uh, uh, perdón? I haven't been able to go out because of the pandemic. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the way. Okay. okay. Now, did you ask more questions? Okay, continue okay. with the questions. Uh, okay. All right, good. Thank you. I don't like, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't <Okay>. like to. <laughs> uh, Cristina, did you, did you work tomorrow? Did Yesterday. You... Uh -huh. No, I, no, yeah, I yes, didn't. Yes, yes. No, I didn't. Thank you, Leonardo. Mm -hmm. Cristina, did you did you go to the beach in the last uh, and weekend? <laughs> That's weekend. Uh, uh, no, I no, I didn't. Okay, great. Right. 
Estamos en cuarentena. <risa> Leonardo, did you uh, travel in the vacation? Uh, no, I didn't. I stay in my house. Okay. Uh, Silvia, did you did you eat dinner yesterday? Yes, I did. Leonardo, did you did you did you cook yesterday? Yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. I, I like to cook. <laughs> okay. Se nos acabaron los verbos. <laughs> Come on, you have more. Did, did you did you clean the house? Did you call did you call your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your friend, your sister? Uh, did you did you watch TV? Okay. Okay, Cristina, did you clean the house? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, did you go to the supermarket? No, I didn't. Okay, so questions like that, right? <laughs> uh, Leonardo, mm -hmm. did you go dance last weekend? Did you go dancing last weekend? No, I didn't. Why mm -hmm. not, Leonardo? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Continue. Sylvia, did you... We didn't. We went to the house. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the question. Hello, too much noise, hay mucho ruido. Uh, no sé, será, será mi... No, yo creo que aquí en mi casa no hay mucho ruido. Yes, no, no. We were at the okay. party. There you go, ajá. Uh -huh. Víctor, para preguntarle si fue al super, sería Did you go? Yeah, did you go? Super. Did you go to the supermarket? Did you, did you go to the supermarket? Mm -hmm. uh, did you did go to the supermarket? Did you oh. go to, aunque puede decirlo algo como Ru, creo que sí se para decirlo. Did you, you go to the supermarket? Did you go to the supermarket now? Yeah. Okay. O sea, ¿qué sería? Did you go to supermarket? Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, I did. Yes, okay. A good summer. Did you, uh, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Bueno, no sé si era igual que vamos a contestar. Sí, sí, igual. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play played tennis. Did, 
Did Erika like her vacation? Dele, Sara. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes, she did. She liked this a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they they didn't. They they uh, didn't. Pardon. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Ahora, Rocío, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play in tennis. Ahora, Ceci, did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay. Um, no sé, ahorita. <laughs> For example, las preguntas ya las hice, uh -huh. now you can now you can ask questions about yourself. Yes, yeah. Did yes. you ah, you finished already? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Yes. So then uh we're going to go back to the main class already. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. thank you. thank you. See you. See you in a minute. Uh, Mauricio, did you drink um, beers today? Sorry, did you drink? Beers today. Esa palabra no la entiendo. <laughs> Ajá. Ok, ok. Good, Mauricio. Good answer. <laughs> no, en serio, no sé que si me está halagando o otra cosa. <laughs> That was an intelligent answer, yeah, smart answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, then you say, I don't understand, sorry. Okay. Um. Okay, good. All right, thank you very much. Good. Okay, good. Now you have no problem with the pronunciation or questions, okay? Now let me see. We are going to practice the yes, no questions, okay? And then we are going to play a game, okay? The name of the game is uh, 20 questions. Um, sorry, I can barely hear you. Huh? Yes, Victor? I couldn't hear you. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're going to play a game and the name of the game is 20 questions, okay? okay. Yes? Okay, and then uh, in this game, I'm going to use a different name, okay? My name is Luis, but in this case, my name is about a famous person in the past. The person is dead, okay? Is another person. Michael Jackson. Probably, uh -huh. like for example, Michael Jackson, okay? For example, did you, Alexa, and then you're gonna ask me question only, did you? Did you sing in English? Yes, I did. Did you dance? Yes, I did. Uh, did you live in the United States? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, did you act in movies? No, I didn't, okay? Then I will say only yes or no, yes or no. And then you have to connect my answers with your logic 
and discover my new name. Okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Now, 20, 20 chances. Okay, 20 opportunities. Okay, I'm going to write in the chat, but I'm not going to send it. My new name. Uh, let me see when I use. Okay. Okay, ready. Question number one. Okay. Did you see? Yes, I did. Can you dance? Did you dance? Yes, I did. Did you cook? Oh, mm, <laughs> no, I didn't. I, uh, did you live in the uh, USA? Yes, I did. Uh, did you have a good day? Uh, did you have a good day? I'm dead. So, yeah, fire, see, right? Um, so probably yes, probably yes, I probably yes, I did. Did you use dress? Did you wear a dress? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you wear it? Did you wear wear a dress? Did you wear a dress? No, I didn't. Did you men? Did you? Men. Were you a man? Were you a man? Oh. Yes, I was a man. ¿Qué significa esa pregunta? What? El anterior. Were you a man? Sí. Where if I were if my sex, my uh, gender, my gender, gender says for example, male or female. Okay. Yep. Were you a man? Yes. For example, are you a woman? Yes, I am, you say. Are you mm -hmm. a man? Yes, I am. In past tense, were you a man? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did uh -huh. you live in Las Vegas? Did you live in Las Vegas? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Mm. Ten questions. Now, solo le quedan diez. Did you have a bed? Uh-huh. Uh, who, 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 who spoke? Did, Did you, you have a pet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sylvia and then Dinora. Okay, Sylvia. Okay. Did you wake up early today? Eh, ya me morí. Okay, yes. <laughs> Yo no, I Did didn't. Did you no, I didn't. act? Recuerden que están adivinando mi nuevo nombre. Ajá, Dinora. Dinora. Ya se la dije, teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, Victor? Did you act? In movies? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Did you act in yeah. movies? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Did uh, you have daughter? Do you have? Daughter? Daughter? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. I think... Uh, no, I didn't, I guess. No. Did you have uh, 15 years? 15. 15. If I was, if I was 15. 15, okay. Uh, si tenía 15 años. No, <laughs> 50. <laughs> okay, were you, were you, were you 50 years old? I said, no, oh. no, I wasn't. It was more. Okay. Cuando me morí tenía más. All right. Did you play a sport? Did you play a sport? No, I didn't. Did you have yes. a, a talent special? A special talent? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Did you draw? Did you draw? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you have some brothers? Brothers, yes. Yes, I did. How did you play the guitar? You? If 
play the guitar? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Two How old two were you? Well, I don't know exactly, but probably more than six. Okay, but I was I was an excellent singer. In you sing New York, New York? New York, New York. Yes, I did. Your name is Frank Sinatra. Yes, no, look at no, that. Huh? <laughs> okay, yes, that was my name, Frank Sinatra. You can see the name in the chat, okay? <laughs> yes, that's correct, okay? So you see, for example, did you, did you ask him questions with yes, no questions? Hay una comprensión y hay una comunicación, right? Usted analizando la información que recibe en inglés and asking questions in English. Es un, ahí hay un proceso de preguntar, entender, analizar, y luego interiorizar, and then volver a preguntar, right? So it's a cycle, okay? Very good. So then you, and you can practice also in this, uh, in this kind of uh, exercise different verbs, right? Like, did you act, did you sing? And se vio la necesidad de usar el verbo to be in past tense. Que ya lo vamos a ver, right? When you say, were you, were you a man? Eras hombre, I'm saying past tense, because estamos, were you a man? Yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Or were you 50 years old? I say, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. I'm out of No, 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 no. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay. Questions in this moment? Okay. Let's see this one. Okay. Here. Now let's see if you can reorganize some um, scramble, reorganize this question. Who can help me? Watch television last night. Sorry? Did you watch did television last night? Okay, let's see. Did you watch, watch television night? last night? Tele. Television last night. Okay, let's see if it is correct. Did you watch television last night? Question mark. Okay. The second one. Did you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Last night question mark okay did you go to work yesterday did you work how did you go sorry did you go to did you go did you go to or did you go to work last night Were yesterday, teacher. Oh. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. I am inventing my own sentences. Did you work? Uh -huh. Yesterday. Thank you. Yesterday. Question mark. Okay. Now let's see. Did they go to the movies? Oh, we missed what that one. Time? Did. They, they mm -hmm. go to the movie Wednesday. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Recuerden que los días de semana siempre van en mayúscula, right? Wednesday. Okay. Then you have all the answers here. And here, did you watch television last night? Puede ir con, aquí lo correcto es esto, que vaya con did. 
pero acá les han puesto que se puede poner en minúscula, right? Did you have dinner last night? Did you go to work yesterday? And did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Esto es porque a veces desde el teclado es que está haciendo, a veces hay problemas con poner mayúsculas o un olvido. Entonces, por eso es que se pone aceptable. Pero al inicio es mejor usar did you. Did you watch television last night? Okay, questions? No. No, no question. Perfect. Oops. Aquí que nos pasó. Did you? Ah, okay. No. Did you go to work? Yes. Ah, okay. Look. Tiene uh, doble cuesta. Ajá. Un errorcito se me escondió. Y a eso nos hace. Okay, que esto falle. Okay. Nice one. Right. Entonces, si ustedes ven ahí, por ejemplo, es just un simple error de, de typo, de dedo, y les puede salir mal. Entonces, ya no es que no se sepa, eh, que no, eh, ya no es conocimiento, sino que es un simple error, right? Mistake, mistake in English. Ok, that can happen. Pero lo bueno es siempre revisar bien. Okay? Especialmente cuando hacen estas cajitas muy chiquitas. Right? That you have to go and check word by word. Okay, this is uh, to make sure that everything is okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Important thing, by the end of class, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's see what we have. Okay, now listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, we learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen to in practice. Summer activities go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic, meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these words. Go, have, meet, Play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion rooms. Class, class. take pictures. Have a picnic. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Okay, we have have fun. What is the other one here? Have fun and have? What would be another one? Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Okay, have a, uh, have a picnic. Meet new people or meet. Meet what? Meet old friends. Meet old friends, okay. Then here say meet meet old friends, meet my family, uh, meet my, uh, let's say my coworkers, meet my boss, uh, meet my cousins, okay. Meet a famous person, uh, meet Madonna, meet uh, Bruno Mars, meet whomever you want, okay? Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play chess. 
play um play what play uh soccer soccer board games okay play cards play poker okay play uh play chess uh -huh. play chess yes or chinese checkers right chinese checkers like uh damas chinas right chinese checkers or checkers solamente dama right play volleyball see a movie see a movie see picture see pictures see photos see the landscape ver los paisajes see the see the sky see the mountain yes uh-huh okay so these are whatever we can see and enjoy okay see the birds ver los pájaros right see the birds is in the when you go to the zoo see the elephants see the animals okay uh, in the aquarium see the dolphins okay if you are in the ocean you can see the marlin or you can see sharks okay or whales the blue whale see a play take a class okay see here for example here it says play como verbo jugar and a play aquí está como una obra okay como una como una obra teatral right see a play take pictures now let's put these in vocabulary then we have take pictures and what was the other one take a class take an english class Okay, you see, for example, these are expressions that will always be used for activities, right? Like have fun, have a big, uh, have a party, okay? Summer, for example, in summer, you can practice, you know, we can have a party at the, mo at the, at the beach, okay? And you can have a, a picnic, right, in the park. You can have a picnic in the garden of your house. Uh, you can have a picnic in your probably let me see at uh, at your friend's uh, uh, for example probably your friend's house obviously in the garden outside the house okay so these are expressions I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs go Play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, <coughs> and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So that's the vocabulary that you have to practice for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we're going to start using sentences uh, about the uh, summer, practicing the past tense, and we're going to start, I guess, also with the past tense of the verb to be. All right, everybody. So have a very good night. I will see you tomorrow. Rest, practice your English. Thanks. And have a good, good night. night. Okay. Night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye.